This is a very basic painting method that you can apply to most games to make your dice more interesting. Just get creative with it and paint what looks best to you. For this video, I'm going to be doing bone color dice with splots of blood for a fantasy game like Zombicide Green Plague, as well as metallic dice with green slime for something like Nemesis. All you'll need is either black paint or black primer, I'm using paint here, the base color you want your dice to be, so for example gray for a steel look, and also the color you want your blood or slime or whatever to be. For the bone paint, I ended up not using the antique white you see in the back there, but instead I used this mocha color. Also, get a protective finish. Dice go through a lot of wear and tear, so I would say a varnish is absolutely necessary here. So the first step is to paint your dice black. This is kind of annoying because dice tend to be glossy and don't grip onto the paint. The key here is to wait for a layer to dry and come back and paint over it. If you find you're pulling away paint, as seen here, you can also dab the paint on. A combination of swiping, dabbing, and multiple layers will get these dice painted evenly without too much bunching of paint. If there's any small spots of missing paint, don't worry about it too much because it will be covered with the other layers. With the black layer applied and dried, we're gonna paint on the base color. For this, we're gonna dry brush. So get some paint onto a dry brush, wipe off the majority of the paint, and swipe it back and forth onto the die. Dry brush a moderate amount. I wouldn't cover the whole die with color because in my opinion, it doesn't look as good. Now one thing I learned while painting these dice is that dice with deeper divots work better. The reason for this is because the divots look best if they remain black, whereas shallow divots, like the bone one here, tends to pick up the paint. You can alleviate this issue by dry brushing more lightly so the paint isn't getting pushed into the divots. You can also paint the holes back over in black or even another color if you really want to get fancy with it. You can dry brush on a few more layers of color if you want, for the metal one, I use the shiny metallic metal only on the last layer. Finally, we're going to get our blood or slime and apply it to our brush and dab it onto our dice. This is another matter of preference, but I think less looks better. You can see here on one side where there's a minimal amount and on another side where there's a lot. Now we are going to varnish. I can't demonstrate it in this video, but basically, using either a matte or a gloss finish, spray on every side of the dice. You have to wait for a layer to dry before flipping over the die and applying to another layer. And now you're done. There's a ton of games with nice components but regular looking dice, so this is a really easy and a really great way to add some character to them.